So this is the Junkers Umo 205 type engine I'm working on, uh, making it out of uh, two Briggs and Stratton uh, three and a half horse lawnmower engines. As you can see here, this piston here will intake through those ports and this piston exhausts out those ports and the exhaust piston crankshaft uh, leads the intake crankshaft by uh, about 20 degrees or something. Now luckily I can do this because the piston is taller than the stroke of the engine is. Otherwise the ports would be uncovered into the crankcase area and I'd lose all my supercharger boost into the crankcase. You can see the spark plug there and the cylinder head that I've made to connect the two blocks in the combustion chamber. I still have to make the intake manifold here but the exhaust is going to going to work right like that. See I have as many ports in it as I can. Now bear with me a second here, I'll show you something else. So, if we added one more crankshaft up here, you could have what's called a Napier Deltic because for the price of one extra crankshaft you can gain two more cylinder blocks so three times the cubic inch displacement of the engine that's what Napier did with their uh, Deltic uh, diesel engines I don't have any plans to do that due to the complexity of uh, what would be involved anyways that's just a preview of the the coming uh, UMO type engine